Chelsea welcome Newcastle United to Stamford Bridge with the Blues looking to maintain their recent uptick in form in the Premier League. Tonight, Chelsea have the chance to go four unbeaten in the league for the first time in more than a year, and history suggests they could well achieve that. Newcastle have only ever won once here in the Premier League. Chelsea make two changes to the side that drew with Brentford last weekend. Mark Kukurea starts after his return from injury. It's his first appearance since December. Raheem Sterling also comes in. Conor Gallagher has recovered from illness to make the 200th appearance of his club career. Axel Dizazi plays on the occasion of his 26th birthday. Eddie Howe also makes two alterations to the Newcastle side that beat Wolves last weekend. Howe is without Kieran Trippier, who has a calf problem. Former Blue Tino Livramento replaces him. Miguel Almiron is in for Jacob Murphy in attack. Lewis Hall is ineligible to play against his parent club. Here's Palmer. Christo put in that terrific cross for Nicholas Jackson at Brentford last weekend. That was who he was trying to find there. Clearance only as far as Palmer. Jackson got the flick and it's in. And Chelsea take the lead. Was it Cole Palmer? Was it Nicholas Jackson? Not sure they know. Doesn't really matter. All that matters is that Chelsea are ahead with their first shot of the game. We've only played for six minutes. It's a wry smile from Nicholas Jackson, which would suggest that he got the faintest of flicks which did for Dubravka, and it's Chelsea 1, Newcastle United 0. Let's wait and see whether it was Palmer or Jackson. Well, it certainly comes on that right-hand side, and it was Gusto up against Dan Byrne, which will be a mismatch, so that's really encouraging. And Cole Palmer's effort isn't fierce to really trouble Dubravka, I would suggest, but it's brilliant from Jackson. It's the slightest of touches, but he actually takes it from outside the post to inside, into the corner of the net. No, I think Chelsea have, have played in this manner a few times to good effect this season. Certainly can hurt teams on the counter. Good ball from Murphy again, goodness me. Look, looking to get a toe for it. Almiron back in and then over the bar. Is there a deflection on that? Officials don't seem to know, so they give a goal kick. And Willock says you must be kidding. That's a really clever delivery from Almiron. I mean, the first one's not bad at all. Either. It's well defended by Gusto. This is clever for Almiron. I think he picks out Willock there. Just really wraps his left foot around it. That's a pass. That's not a cross. Oh, chance here. Isaac into the bottom corner for 1 1. He's been coming. Is clinical from Alexander Isaac. But it was a goal which owed quite a lot to Chelsea's difficulties in getting the ball clear. And Isaac scores against Chelsea for the second time this season, and we're all square just before the break. Yeah, it's that lack of control that we've been searching for during games this season. It's just become a little frantic. It's Gusto with a couple of the well, kick-ups in the middle of the pitch, and then Chalabra, I think, can deal with it slightly better. He just uses Dizazi, doesn't he? Izak in the end. Can't take anything away from the finish, because he hasn't got loads to hit here. Just a quick shift outside of the right foot before Dizazi can get set, and the goalkeeper can't see it. But it's passed him into the side netting of the net. And a wriggle away from his man. Well, oh, how'd he find Gusko there? Gusto looking for Gallagher, who nodded it down. Raheem Sterling, it's Sterling! Oh, straight at Dubravka. Well, that deserved a goal, because the play from Gusto and from Palmer there was out of this world. Yeah, he did brilliantly to, to keep it alive, and then he got a, a very good delivery on the end of it from Gusto. Excellent awareness from Conor Gallagher. I don't know, did he just lose his bearings somewhat? Pressure on Chelsea of their own making there from Chalaba's pass. Casado trying to wrestle back possession. This is Almiron. Oh, stung the palms of Petrovic, who pushed it over for a corner. And they looked for a moment that was going to be difficult to get through. Dizazi, who was closing in with intensity. The angle diminishing. 
taking it away from goal, tough angle, but got the elevation on it to take it away from the Chelsea defender. Good foot in from Fernandez. Jackson gave it to Caicedo. He found Cole Palmer. Teasing burn. Brilliant from Palmer. Oh, and any touch from Gallagher, it would have been 2 1 Chelsea. Well, he had Dan Byrne on toast there, Cole Palmer. That's yeah, really good. Excellent approach play. Chelsea definitely got something to offer on the break, though, and here comes Gusto. Palmer, beautiful into Sterling. Sterling driving for goal. Force wide, got the shot in. Didn't miss by much. And just a bit of hesitation there from Botman, I think. Just backpedalled. The ball was pushed into Reem Sterling. I thought he was going to go tight there, Botman, and make the challenge. Sterling takes him into the 18-yard box. Again, the angle against the Chelsea player here, really. Eddie Howe appealing for calm from his players on the touchline. Fernandez into Palmer. Palmer's going to hit it! Oh, what a goal! Cole Palmer! The boy is brilliant. A fine finish. Ice cold as ever. What a player. Yeah, it's a brilliant goal. And the last couple of times he's received the ball, uncharacteristically giving it away, but he knew he'd get it right eventually. And he takes up a brilliant position there. I think that's equally as important as the strike. Look how easy it is for Chelsea to shift it. It's so quick, no back lift, and it whistles past the Bradford into the near post. It's a wonderful strike, so much venom in it. Well, that's a great flick on from Jackson. Can Sterling get it under control? Here he goes, Raheem Sterling, trying to get round Dubravka. Still Sterling, oh, and cleared off the line. Well, that could have been two goals in about 30 seconds for Chelsea. Oh, it was great from Jackson, what a flick it was. And then Sterling looked like he couldn't take control of it, couldn't take receipt of it, and he did well. I think just his, his sheer pace beyond here, that touch takes him away from the covering defender. And in the end, it took an absolute age for him to get the strike away. Caicedo in his position trying to block the cross, sent deep to the back post. And it's loose and it's thumped and deflected, and Caicedo's got a man behind him. Here's Jackson, rolling free, stretching his legs to good effect. Palmer and Mudrick up there with him, vastly outnumbered by Newcastle players. Gallagher, Mudrick takes over, Mudrick through, Mudrick round the goalkeeper! Oh, it's fantastic! Mikhailo Mudrick, what a goal! And Chelsea have got some daylight now. Terrific goal from Mudrick. Jackson with a lightning fast attack and Mudrick with the ice cool composure. Chelsea three, Newcastle one. Is that the goal that sees the points stay here? That's oh, just a brilliant kind of attacking goal. It's a wonderful finish, but full credit to Nicholas Jackson for this little bit of play down the left hand side. The burst away from the Newcastle United back line and then the presence of mind to find this pass into Mudrick. It's Gallagher actually, it's great awareness from Conor Gallagher as well to just step aside and allow Mudrick to take it on off his toes if you like. The first couple of touches sublime and then the decision making to go round the Bravka and you're just praying that it's got enough on it to make it over the line. It just about does. Oh, Kukure has been spun though. Chance here, oh and hammered in for 3-2. And now it gets interesting. Jacob Murphy. How long's going to be added on for stoppages? As the clock ticks to 90, Newcastle reduced the deficit to one. Yeah, costly mistake from Kukurea. Just stay goal side. Doesn't have to try and nick this here. Played into Murphy's feet. There's no danger really. Makes the Newcastle forwards mind up for him. And then what comes next, where well, it's quite sensational, is probably the only place it can go. Whistles all around the stadium, but from the one man who counts. Gusto challenging for the header. That'll be a goal kick, and surely that's that. Big, big win. Huge win. Cole Palmer-inspired victory.
He's the coolest man in the stadium. Nothing new there. What a game of football we've had. Absolutely terrific fun. Chelsea ahead. Newcastle leveled it up. Palmer gave Chelsea the lead back again. Mudrick made it 3-1. Murphy made us nervous, but Sam, Chelsea got the job done. In the week that Chelsea celebrate their 119th birthday, three points, the perfect present for Poch and Co. Now it's on to the FA Cup quarter final on Sunday, but in the Premier League, it finished Chelsea three, Newcastle United two.